it was almost like surreal because you always think like this can't happen to me, but it did. <laughs> I went for a mammogram. They kept calling me back, which isn't like unusual because they always did that and I was at Wegmans, I was online. They said, oh, is this a good time? I'm like, yeah, okay. She goes, you have breast cancer. And I'm like, wow, I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. I went to the doctor and they thought it was a pulled muscle and I was only 35, so I was too young for a mammogram. They just figured they'd send me for one just to rule that out. And then something showed up on the mammogram. Then they did the biopsy, came back positive for cancer and that's it. I was breastfeeding my second child. I felt uh, several lumps and I brought it to the attention of my husband and he told me to pursue it and go to the doctor. She acknowledged that I had a lump and thankfully, I thank God every day, I didn't have a doctor that sent me away. I went for an ultrasound and it was confirmed that there were several uh, tumors, several masses. The first time that I found out I was sick, we kind of were just hoping it was a pneumonia. Uh, I been coughing for a while, I couldn't really breathe. They did an x-ray, because that's what they do when you can't breathe. And the doctor came back and said, you have a tumor. And it was just like, everything stopped. <laughs> just not knowing if my body's gonna keep responding to the medicine. I know there's like a lot of lines of treatment for me, but I um, just hope my body keeps going and responding well, and keep me in remission for a lot of years. Honestly, I know this sounds a little shallow, but losing my hair, because <laughs> I always had really long hair, and it was just like, that made it completely real. I still can't move the way I used to, and there's a healing process, and um, just not being able to do any exercise other than walking. I really felt it when I went to sleep at night. You know, I kept on turning to my husband and saying, is this, is this real? Is this a dream? Or, I don't understand, you know? I got a package from them and I was just, they gave me a nook for Christmas, a nook color, so that I would have something to do in the hospital when I went. And, and it was just such a blessing because I'm telling you, I cried for so long because it was just so touching that they wanted to help me and they had no idea who I was. <laughs> the support they give is amazing and they're very positive and they just want to help you out as much as they can and it's really nice, really nice. One of the healing processes when you're going through cancer and then you're done with the treatments is now turning around and helping others and that's how it really helped me, it gave me that forum to be able to turn around and you know reach my hand out to somebody else and say you know what you're not going through this alone. It was kind of unexpected because like, I didn't necessarily view it that way to begin with, you know? It was just, I got sick and I, I dealt with it, you know? I'd suck it up and do what you have to do because anything else isn't an option. But they kind of put it in perspective that, you know, it does, you know, it takes a strong person. <laughs> and, you know, the other women are strong too. I don't think I'm brave. <laughs> I don't think I did anything extraordinary. I just did what I had to do. And, um, you know, I'm being recognized for it. I, I did what anyone else, I think, would have done. I'm astounded by her strength. Um, I think that surprised all of us. She was our baby, and she was not somebody that we thought would was very strong. We just took care of her all our lives. and, and her strength was amazing. Thanks to the Beauty Foundation, my wife has been able to really come full circle with the fear of being diagnosed now to a point where she's comfortable enough not only to talk about it, but to help others get through that fear and to recognize that spiritually, emotionally, what you see in the mirror, no matter what you're going through, is still beautiful. Thanks to the Beauty Foundation, she was able to um, worry less about day-to-day -day things, about um, taking care of her house and taking care of herself. Um, that was a big help, and it gave me peace of mind also, knowing that they were there for her. They're so supportive. <laughs> like, regardless of, of how you're feeling, they're just, you know, if you need anything, if you just want to talk, they just want to help, <laughs> which is great, because that's exactly what's needed.